Steve Bannon had nothing to do with January 6th. He wasn't there. He committed no crime. But that didn't stop the January 6th committee from trying to destroy him anyway. Today, Bannon was sentenced to four months in federal prison at the request of that committee. As Congressman Matt Gates has pointed out, the Department of Justice official who prosecuted Steve Bannon, a man called Matthew Graves, is a partisan Democrat. He was on Joe Biden's domestic policy committee in the 2020 campaign and worked for other Democratic cam campaigns. So what we're seeing clearly is the corruption of the rule of law. Congress held Lois Lerner and Eric Holder in contempt famously, but of course they never spent a day in jail and they were never going to because they were faithful Democrats. Tonight, Steve Bannon joins us for his first interview since his sentencing. Steve Bannon, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Do you agree with Matt Gates that this is partisan? That's 100 percent. I mean, the whole Justice Department under Merrick Garland has become radically partisan. And I think that's after we win on November 8th to deliver this crushing blow against the Democratic Party, this regime. Tucker, I strongly believe you'll see Merrick Garland impeached next year by the new Congress. I certainly hope so. People who say four months in prison is not a big deal had never been to a prison. It is a big deal. How are you going to respond to this? Do you, do you plan to submit? Well, uh, well, we get, well, number one, we have the judge laid out today a number of areas of, of appeal. I've got a great legal team. Uh, my legal team is working on the appeals right now. We've got uh, the appeals on, you know, use of attorney, uh, separation of powers, executive privilege, the structure of the, of the uh, January 6th committee. So we've got a lot of appeals. We'll work through the appeals process. And so this is all, my sentencing is all pending the, uh, the appeals process, and we'll work through it. Like I said on your show the first time, at the end of the day, I got to go to prison by this illegitimate regime. Hey, I, I, I respect what the judge did today. I'm prepared to do it, but we got a long appeals process. What do you think this says about our system more broadly, however? I mean, you're saying that you're being sent to prison because you advised Donald Trump politically. I mean, that doesn't sound like a free country where that, something like that could happen. It's not free right now. You see this in the, whether it's the FBI rolling up uh, individuals praying in front of abortion centers or designating parents, going to parents' rights at uh, school board meetings for parents' rights as domestic terrorists. The Justice Department is completely and totally out of control, and the FBI is out of control. That's why I'm a big believer in defund the FBI. Use the appropriations process to defund both these apparatuses until they come to the table and we start cleaning up the rat's nest. I think the only way you're going to do it is you got to start at the top. We got to impeach Ray and we got to impeach Merrick Garland after full investigations. I think Merrick Garland can be uh, impeached on the southern border. I think he can impeach by what he's trying to do to these parents, uh, the parents' rights movement. I think that Merrick Garland will be impeached next year by the new Congress. One of the reasons that our system has become partisan and the rule of law is evaporating is because no one's pushing back against it. Are you satisfied with the response from elected Republicans? to what's happened to you? Is anyone sticking up for you, do you think? I, I think it's fine. And look, look, elected Republicans, what they need to do now is focus on the 8th of November. Tucker, there's no substitute for victory. We have a very good opportunity here to shatter the Democratic Party as a national political institution from school boards to state legislatures to uh, attorney general secretaries of state to take the House by 40 or 50 seats and maybe take the Senate by four or five seats. To me, elected officials right now should just focus on winning and winning with the biggest, at the biggest wave we can. I, 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 I can do this myself with my lawyers. I don't need Republicans have my back. What I want Republicans to do is in the new Congress is to focus on cleaning out the rat's nest at DOJ and cleaning out the rat's nest at the FBI. If you're Lois Lerner or you're Eric Holder, both of whom committed, uh, from my read, actual crimes against the country, unlike you, you have not been accused even of doing that, and both of them skated on contempt charges, uh, do you think they're ashamed? Do they see the double standard? Has either one reached out to you to commiserate with you? I'm, I'm serious, like on a human level. No. Uh, look, the, the, as you know, the city is so partisan. This process now is so partisan. And they are some of the most partisan people, especially Eric Holder. Eric Holder is the hatchet man for Obama. So, no. they did. And by the way, I wouldn't want him to. Right now, hey, this is an unbridgeable gap. You have the Republicans and the MAGA forces on one side. You have these radical Democrats on another. You see this is not rule of law. It's, it's like a banana republic. You can't compromise in this. 
There's no substitute for victory. We have to win massively on the 8th, and then this new Congress has to really go and enforce the rule of law. And the way you enforce the rule of law is start serious investigations, not political, serious investigations, Tucker, and after those investigations, start bringing articles of impeachment and throw these bums out, whether it's Mayorkas at DHS or Garland at the That's Attorney right. General, and who knows where it ends. Yeah, who knows where it ends is right. Steve Bannon, good luck. I'd be, I'd, you don't seem worried. I'd be worried. Uh, if I were you, you're, you're a brave man. And I appreciate your coming on. Thank Not you. Worried. Thanks, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens. Stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.